And now it is my pleasure to welcome Colin from the Boise State Secular Student Alliance to talk to us about secular youth. Hello, everybody. Um, as I just mentioned, I'm here today as representative of the Boise State Secular Student Alliance, and I'm honored to speak in front of all of you who would come out, not only in the rain, but take time out of your busy day to celebrate the National Day of Reason. I was asked to do a speech on why my generation, the Millennials, um, has been moving away from religion and towards secular identities. And when given this question, like any true Millennial would do, I googled it. And boy, did Google provide. With 30% of adults under the age of 30 moving away from religion, this is a hot topic, and a lot of people have their opinions on it. I could stand up here and attempt to synthesize the countless articles that try to explain the many different reasons why the youth are moving away from religion. Like, I could tell you how the internet makes questioning religion easier than ever. I could tell you how the fundamentalist Christian right has alienated the progressive youth, and I could tell you about how the marginalization of LGBT communities has hurt us all in many ways. I could tell you about how churches, it just does not appeal to my generation because we're too lazy to go out and participate in the community. All these things and more have played a huge reason in why my generation is moving away from religion. And I am no expert on the topic, for sure. So I cannot speak for my entire generation, but I can speak for me. And I can tell you why me and the people I know have moved away from religion. I grew up in what I've come to believe is sort of the usual millennial household. My family prayed every now and again. We went to church on Easter and Christmas, and I even went to one of those hip youth groups for a little time. We learned about how Jesus is your friend. Religion was always in my life, but never a central part of it. It was just there in the background. Um, and while I've always been surrounded by religion, parts of it never sat right with me. I wasn't a fan of the treatment of LGBTQ folks, and I completely disagreed with the religious right on many things. But there was never a moment when any particular thing drove me away from religion. It was a gradual religion process of religion slowly falling away. And I can't pinpoint when I finally decided religion wasn't right for me. But for me, losing my religion has been one of the easiest things that I've ever done. Religion was kind of outdated for me. The ideas never fully fit into my 21st century lifestyle to begin with, and it felt good to disassociate from the religious fundamentalists. After getting rid of religion, though, so many people in my life couldn't understand how one could live without belief. So I didn't wear my secular identity proudly, and I kept it mostly to myself. That is, until I left high school and came into college, where I met a community of people who think much like I do. The Secular Student Alliance, which is a growing force of atheists, agnostics, humanists, freethinkers, skeptics, and all others who checkmark the box none on religious association, introduced me to great people and that shared a lot of the values I do. Since meeting this group and many of the other similar groups we have in Idaho, I have found a secular community that has opened their arms to me entirely judgment-free. This is a group of people who will cast zero judgment on you. Are you covered in head-to-toes with tattoos? Awesome. Do you want to sleep with people of the same gender? There is a place for you in this community. Did, you, did people assign you the wrong gender at birth? No problem here. There is no predetermined mold that you have to fit into to fit into the secular community. It is come as you are, and we welcome everybody exactly the way they are. Like I said, I can't speak for my generation as a whole, but I can tell you this. The secular community has always welcomed me, 
and I think it does a great job welcoming many others. And I thank you all for coming out today. Thank you, Colin.